What's going on YouTube? Austin Zay back here with another video and I'm actually really excited for today's video because I'm here with Ricky Gutierrez. Um, if you don't follow him, he's actually the one that I bought my Audi R8 from. Um, we've been hanging out a lot lately and it's been a ton of fun and uh, we decided to go ahead and make a YouTube video. So, uh, you know, we wanted to bring some additional content to you guys and some really cool stuff and I uh, was in the area this morning and actually came over to Ricky's house so we're here hanging out. This is where he makes all the money is where all the magic happens <laughs> right here behind us. But you know what's what's really cool about Ricky is you know he's he's into the stock he's into the stock market really big right Ricky yep. um, you know swing trading we were kind of just talking about that a second ago and I have no idea what any of that means <laughs> uh, which is a ton of fun but he also does a bunch of different stuff so really just a serial entrepreneur you know somebody that's just out there hustling and and killing it and um, you know so we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that. I think it's really cool that he's been doing. He started out doing it with cars, yep. which is how I actually ended up with my Audi. Um, so that was your second car that you did it with? The Audi? Uh-huh. No. Um, I mean, I've been doing it since I was 18 for okay. higher end cars. My first one was the 2012 GTR uh -huh. that I bought when I was 21. Um, I bought an M3 like a couple months later. Um, and then I bought the Z06. Okay. Then I bought the, uh, I think I had the McLaren before the R8. Did uh -huh. I? Yep. Um, and then I had the R8. Okay. So, a McLaren, R8, <laughs> Z06, 23? Uh, I'm 23 now. 23, 23 now. Just yeah. turned 23. So, like, literally, barely older than me. Um, it's done all these cool cars. And what's really interesting is, uh, just like me, guys, as I preach all the time, you know, normal average kid with above average dreams and goals. Yep. You know, started started from nothing. You know, mommy and daddy didn't hand us anything, but really just worked hard and didn't overcomplicate it. And you know, so he's been buying and reselling cars, um, which is really really cool because he's been able to drive some cool, amazing, fun cars, and then actually make a small profit on these cars. Um, but what's even more interesting that he started doing even more recently, and this is kind of what I want to talk to you guys really about in this video mainly, because uh, you know, a lot of you guys that follow me, maybe um, you don't want to be go go to a, do luxury real estate right now. Yeah. Maybe um, you know you don't really know that much about wholesaling or that's just not something that you're able to get into right now, um, which is totally understandable by the way guys. Uh, you know that obviously, um, you know, real estate's not for everybody and maybe it's something that you, you want to do in a year or two years from right now and, or you're younger and you're looking to, you know, make money in other areas. And so uh, what Ricky started doing actually recently and I'll let him talk about it is he actually took his, co the concept that he was doing with his cars yep. and he actually started doing that on a much smaller scale, which I think it's really cool because um, you know the, the barrier of entry is very low for that. Definitely. Um, and he started doing it with motorcycles, so I'll let him kind of explain you know what he's been doing and you know made some money with. Definitely. So, well, first of all, um, to talk about like for those that are uh, currently investing in potentially wholesaling or want to potentially look into wholesaling, but you know you might not be in that current position. My biggest thing is, uh, especially within our group, we try to like we just filmed the video on my channel about yep. wholesaling, and I try to provide exposure and exposure for myself mm -hmm. because I want to invest in any market that I see value in. So some people like yourself uh, might have just clicked right away with wholesaling or you you know, whatever the case yeah. may be. So, so people that have a passion for maybe automobiles mm -hmm. or have always had a passion for that, how cool would it be to be able to buy your dream car and then make some money on top of it? So um, just to put it into example, my biggest month, and this is not my average month, so my biggest month by far was the month of November and that's when I closed the month at $23,000 profit. Mm -hmm. Buying and reselling cars as a hobby. That's when I closed like the McLaren deal yep. and stuff like that, the Z06. Um, and now the really cool thing about what it is that I do now that I think, you know, that we really talked about in the course for uh, the buying and reselling of cars is that even people that have like less than $3,000 to their name, although that might sound like a lot of money, less than $3,000 to your name, we do this with buying and reselling motorcycles. Yep. And you can do it with lower end cars and, and, and we focus on that as well, but the buying and reselling of motorcycles is the easiest like I can't stress enough how it is like how easy and how yep. simple it is to find the deal I, I focus on three bikes the, uh, Honda CBRs mm -hmm. I focus on uh, Suzuki Jixers and my favorite the Yamaha R6 and the R1 series okay. the Yamaha R6s anything below three thousand dollars I will buy because yep. they're worth thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars within my area mm -hmm. I'm talking about the the uh, the years from 2005 all the way up to 2009. That's all I focus on. I have my niche. I focus yep. on that. If I can flip four to five in a, in a month, you know, obviously there's, yep. there's some things that you have to become familiar with, like what's the legal limit that you can resell within your state. And then as well as, you know, doing on consignment mm -hmm. sales, having that partnership with the dealership uh, to be able to, you know, exceed that. So that's something that you're going to have to look into as well. But uh, do you mind if I, if we go to the Not at all. Yeah, let's go yeah. check it out. So let's go Sounds ahead good. and 
um, actually just bring you guys along and I wanted to show you oh I wanted to show you guys because I actually just bought this uh, Yamaha R6 yesterday I found the deal uh, my roommate found the deal and I'll talk to you guys about how it is that we did that but uh, this is my buddy's uh, BMW um, and this is it this is the Yamaha R6 2005 uh, it has 18,000 miles and um, it was posted for sale for four thousand dollars so uh, the listing was found on Facebook okay so let me talk to you about this it was found on Facebook it was posted for four thousand dollars which is pretty much yeah. what it's worth Facebook is a newer platform for reselling Craigslist is the main one yeah so the exposure that he's going to get on Facebook is much less so my roommate made him an offer at 2500 we closed the deal at 2500 leading up to when we arrived uh -huh. and then because of certain things that we were able to leverage we got it down to 2300 that's a 1700 dollars margin that we built for ourselves there's no question that when i repost this today on craigslist i can guarantee you i will close anything above 3500 dollars and even if i close it at the minimum 3500 dollars Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even if I close it at a minimum of $3,500, that is a return of $1,200 without having, I, I didn't do anything special. I, I'm not like, you know, some whiz or anything yeah. like that. I understand the niche that I'm investing in. I understand what the bike is worth. And all I do is, again, I, I hustle to find the distressed sellers to right. find the deals. That is all. And very similar to real estate. Ve very similar. We just filmed the, the video for yep. wholesaling and it's just finding the distress sellers, those that want to get rid yep. of the motorcycle, that need to get rid of it, and then flipping it. it yep. It's not needing to find 10, 15, 20 of these deals every single month. If you can, then great. But you know, finding two or three in a month is so easy. Being able to make an extra $2,500 to $5,000 every month has, I, in my opinion, never been easier. The, the risk is so low for me right. because I understand it and the reward is so much greater. I love what it is that we do. I mean, I have the 2000 and uh, the 2015 Alpha 7 GTR there. I mean, you have, uh, oh, we even have like the M3. We have like the Mercedes back there. But um, the really cool thing about every single car that I've bought, um, I buy them and they're the lowest priced cars in the country. I bought the lowest price yeah. uh, Alpha 7 2015 GTR. I'm trying to close a deal on, do you know what, what car I'm getting next? McLaren. The McLaren 570S. Yeah. I'm closing the deal on one of the lowest priced ones in the country. And th that's just all what it is that we do. So if you're someone that has a passion for buying and reselling or, or just has a passion for vehicles, mm -hmm. how cool would it be able to, you know, actually be able to make money so um, while doing it, right? You yep. just got into the car rental, the luxury car rental business, why? Well, because I, I thought about it and so I bought, again, your R, your old R8, the cheapest R8 in the country. Yeah. And it was just sitting in my garage and I, my buddy owns an car, exotic car rental company. So I was like, you know, this car is literally sitting in my garage when I'm not driving it. And my buddy's like, dude, I literally watched my buddy make like $8,000 in one day. Now, granted, he's got, you know, multiple cars. Yeah. But I'm like, he literally sat in his office. People drove by like on Scottsdale Road, if, you know, here in Arizona and walked in. He made $8,000 in one day. Um, and then I, I'm like, okay, well, what if somebody wrecks it and stuff? I watched him make more money when people wrecked his car. And it's a whole other conversation. But, yeah. you know, when somebody actually, and, and again, when I say wrecked, I'm, I'm talking like a fender bender, you know, like they ran into a curb or something. Yeah. Um, you know, actually profited even more money. So it was almost like I was sitting there, I was like, wait a minute, I was like, this is literally a win win situation. Definitely. So, you know, I think that's the moral of what we're kind of talking about here is, um, you know, there's so many ways to make money, right? There's so many ways, you know, Ricky's here and, you know, he's doing the buying and selling of motorcycles, but has done it with cars and, you know, we do it with real estate, um, you know, and, and I'm a luxury agent too. I'm a real estate agent, so I, I represent buyers and sellers and we do that. But you know, if you're out there and you're looking to start a business or become an entrepreneur or do something, um, the reason I wanted to bring Ricky on here is because this is so simple, guys. It, it's not, I don't like the word easy, but it's so simple. You know, and if you just go out and take action and figure out, you know, okay, it, if you want to learn something about, you know, motorcycles, Ricky actually just launched a course, correct me if I'm wrong, and it's called Flipping Wheels. Flipping Wheels. So, um, obviously, after this video is done, you know, it, the link for his YouTube channel is going to be in the description down below. You know, go check him out because he has, you know, the Flipping Wheels community, he has a big tech, bug, tech buds community, and, and, you know, his community is very, very large, and he's just an a, extremely genuine, amazing dude that it will help you with whatever you need help with and his community is willing to help you and so um, and obviously I'm always willing to help you but you know think outside the box and, and get creative with this stuff and go out there and make an extra thousand or two thousand dollars a month because that's what it that's where it all starts definitely you know everybody always wants to go out and make a hundred thousand dollars in a month yeah and it's like while that's a hundred percent possible just focus on 
replacing your day job income or replacing your what you're already doing right now yep. income with something that you enjoy doing and creating time freedom and then go out there and aim for this, shoot for the stars and that big income. Just, just getting the ball rolling, yeah. that, that's the biggest thing. I feel for, for my personal expenses, I, you know that I'm not one to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. My personal expenses are less than $1,000 every month. Right. So me doing this as a hobby, not including my day trading, not including any of my businesses, my real estate, or any sources of income. Simply with the hobby that I have of buying and reselling cars and motorcycles, I I cover all my expenses. Mm -hmm. How amazing would it be for you know you working your day job and for all that to go straight to your savings account so you can then later invest into multiple markets on top of that. Yeah, so I exactly. think that's the beautiful thing about what we do and it's just about finding a, a market that you see value in, identifying a niche that you understand and then just taking action. Taking action. So um, let's go ahead and so go simple. back inside yeah. and then, uh, cause my arm is shaking. <laughs> I thought I did arms yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're back inside and really the moral of what we're talking about here is just taking action. Okay guys, so uh, like Ricky just said, you know, go out there, uh, figure it out, figure out what it is that you wanna do um, and just don't overcomplicate it. You know, find somebody that you can look up to. Uh, you don't need a hundred mentors, you just need one, uh, maybe two. You know, I think a lot of people go out and they, they have like a hundred mentors and they're trying to do a hundred different things yeah. and it just just don't overcomplicate it and, and, and just make the small amount of money replace what you're already doing with something that you love to do, um, and and then you know aim for the stars and and you know do whatever it is that you want to do. But we didn't start out doing eight different things at once. You know we started out doing one little thing that led to the next thing that led to the next thing that led to the next thing. So um, this is a great way that you can make some amazing money and have fun and do it on your timetable and your you know within your schedule and really. Uh, just live the life that you know you've been wanting to live. So uh, with that, do you have any kind of closing thoughts with that? No, uh, that's really just it. So I just, I'm, I'm really happy that we're pro able yeah. to provide more exposure uh, for the people that um, are following and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I think that's the biggest thing that we can continue to do is totally. talking about our experiences, talking about what markets we excel in, and and, and hopefully some of you that see value in those specific markets mm -hmm. uh, can take action as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Ricky. Again, I really appreciate you being awesome. on the channel. Again, guys. Um, you know, Ricky is amazing. He's here in Arizona. Link down in the description below for his channel. Go check him out. Uh, he's got the big tech buds community. Like I said, he's got the flipping wheels community now. Um, and he's got some absolutely amazing content on his channel. So definitely go check that out. And until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.